that's a Park Kulturi metro station. There is also a metro station Park Kulturi. And there's a bridge. And you've got to walk this one if you want to repeat our today's episode with uh, Park Museum. When you're walking on the bridge, you have to make a very important decision. After the bridge, if you turn left, you will get to Museum. If you turn right, you'll get to a Gorky Park. And if you go straight, you'll miss both the parks and uh, we'll end up, I don't know, uh, on a North Pole. So we'll just keep on walking. That is the same old bridge, so we've walked full, get on the other side, and there's the entrance to Museum. We'll go on those gates. But also, here on the right side, there's a museum of uh, cult cars. But for us, we're going for another waste of metal uh, and stone place. Sorry, just kidding. They just need to make a park for all those sculptures. Uh, abandoned one, broken one, ruined by the vandals one. One of the greatest names in uh, Russian culture is Alexander Pushkin, uh, the poet, the world known. The statue of Alexander Pushkin is also standing right here, right here in front of me right now but it's an actual size of Alexander Pushkin. He was a small boy with a big heart and an interesting brain. And you can compare yourself to his statue right here. One meter, 61 centimeter, Mr. Alexander Pushkin. very important in Museon to be careful and searching, searching, looking with your eyes. For example, this is a tree, yeah? Yeah. But under the tree, a sculpture, another writer. This is a, from a stone, from the marble. If you are interested, you can come over here and let me know later. Is it a good park? All the sculptures, are they interested? Or is it just a crap that should be on the junkyard? I don't think so. The chariot of the world. Those sculptures are makes you start thinking, analyzing, because uh, sometimes we are used that the music, everything's supposed to be right and good. And here, this is a shape, and it's a little bit even ugly. It's a min minotaur, minotaur chain, chained minotaur. That's just the beginning. Eight hundred sculptures under the sky, and don't forget the entrance here is for free and only some additional bonuses such as coffee, food and everything is for extra payment unless you brought it all with you because we take a blanket and we take a teaspoon so we can drink tea any way we want here and another sculpture do you like it? Dali style Punk is not able to understand does she like it or not but that make what the makes sculptures and all the great creativity, all the all the art, all the art interesting. You don't it's not supposed to be like straight, this good and this bad. Everything's got to make you think about it, make a decision, do you like it or not? And that is very important I must say. Oh I see a, a woman, a lot of people melted together, yeah? It's like eat us John Carpenter's horror. One of my favorites reminds me of that film. There's many more sculptures over there and we won't go closer because there's another area for me to show you. And all this is up to you. Want to take a look at all of them? Come over. What else can I say? Go to Russia. Please press the heart button, subscribe our channel, put the bell on and follow us, do everything, you won't ask something, receive an answer, start charting, start dating with a girl, make a family, have the kids and take those kids to the spark and take your family and go to Russia. Well, looks like it's time for a little picnic. Step one, open your bag. Step two, get a blanket from cat. Step three, 
get some tea. This is the We Demand Peace sculpture and that is very important uh, and sometimes it's a little bit scary but the life is horrible and if people will be strong and helping each other maybe there will not many times we'll see such a horrifying things but We Demand Peace is a sculpture that makes us think about the decision we make the influ influence we bring to the world and to the consequences to all the humankind that is for let's live in peace my friends all world is one and we all dancing under the same sun so this sculpture was made 70 years ago and the uh, ideas it's trying to bring to our hearts is uh, now as same state level of important uh, like it was 70 years ago and uh, there is a fight to the bitter end last stand. many sculptures you can take a look at their stories story of uh, the people who uh, was not a kind of inspired but they decided to express themselves with the sculpture and one of those sculptures over there is by mr chubarov his friends and neighbors was repressed by the soviet government and to express his feelings about that his pain and justice he created a sculpture and uh, I'm leading you to the sculpture in the memory of the victims of the Stalinist repressions as I was saying by Evgeny Chubarov and there is a St uh, Stalin statue as I was saying and you can see his nose is broken and they did not uh, like repair it or and there is no feet uh, my mistake my mistake some other statue feet are broken but anyway this one is with no nose and behind him is the legacy he brought to the world. Of course, maybe Stalin did some good things, maybe not, I don't know. I'm not uh, talking about politics, but everybody knows that he made a lot of repression and all these people right here in front of you. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't know the hint of words. That is a big one. A lot of things. And there is a stage over here. And I remember even my favorite band, Russian band, favorite Russian band on the go was performing here. And there is a kid's playground. To try if you want to see all this sculpture, but your kids is ah, 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 Papa, Mama, Papa, Mama. You can put your kids to this playground. And if you are like looking for something exclusive, just walk to the embankment there is a street painters selling their works and there is a good view and from the embankment you can move on the right and there you will see another sculpture with an interesting history it's not a sculpture from Museon, but still it's a big sculpture from moscow it stands almost in the center of moscow the big statue well the interesting thing is that it's not a Peter the first, it's Mr. Christopher Columbus, the guy that discovered America. Wow, a big dude. Uh, Zurab Tsariteli, uh, Tsariteli, the guy who built this uh, statue, made a statue of Columb and he uh, gave it as a gift to Americans, to the American government, like, here you go, please come along, take it and take it to your country. It's a gift. And they said, Haha, no, thank you. Um, so they, the Zurab tried to put the statue somewhere one, two, three times and nobody was really interested in it. It's big and heavy and it's very expensive to, you know, to save it and to take it to some other place. So in the end they just cut off the head and put on the Peter's head and no more, no more changes. Put it right here like a Peter the first statue and everybody said wow. But if you'll be very closely and very uh, suspicious and if you are able to um, forget the word then you'll see that there is many details of his clothes there's a scope the shapes everything is same like we can see on the pictures of Christopher Columbus at the moment he decided to uh, travel to India in the end he came to the United States to America to Native Americans but originally that the ships he used to uh, on this trip and everything and even in his hand uh, you might ask what is it maybe it's the map 
he used to get to a new world. The map he leads him to the wrong place. Maybe he was a, like a bad navigator. Like, oh, 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 I turned the map upside. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know nothing about Christopher Columbus. Just thank him. Thank you, Mr. Columbus, for being a traveler. That was Museum Park. Stay with us. Press the heart button. Subscribe our channel. Press the belly, not my belly. Press the belly not to miss any new videos. And of course, ask something, do something, and go to Russia. That is the building uh, we've seen from the other side when you came to embankment. Over there, uh, there is a gallery. There is, a, I will show it a little bit uh, with the fountains. After them, uh, and on this direction, you can go right here then take a step to the uh, Red October Island and then use that bridge to get to the Christ the Savior Cathedral or you can see right here uh, uh, one of the towers from the Kremlin so it's really in the center or you can go that way there is a metro there is a city center a Kremlin or you can walk this direction Ponka we gotta go and here that's the bridge we've been crossing on from the metro station and on the other side there is a Gorky Park and right after the Gorky Park there is another garden that I'm boring garden you might heard about it already and uh, I hope you will like being in here So we uh, ended up our walk out today here in uh, Moscow city embankment on a Red October island and uh, the area here is quite cute. Maybe we'll give you an episode about what to do here in embankment on the next year season uh, our shows but for today we are done. Thank you, stay with us, follow us, love us, subscribe us, hit us in the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, go to Russia. Mm.